broad. Next we're going to demonstrate a very simple test that any boat owner can do themselves very easily uh, and it works for professionals too uh, to give you a quick check on the charging system. Uh, we want to see if the alternator is working and we're going to perform what I call a three-step voltage test. The three steps are we need to establish the voltage in the battery with nothing running and very few if any loads DC loads turned on. <clears throat> that gives us our baseline reading. Then we're going to start the engine, rev it up to about 50 percent of its normal operating RPM and see if there's a change in voltage. It should should rise. What we're looking for is a rise of anywhere from about one to perhaps as many as two and a half volts. If it goes more than two and a half volts that tells you there's a problem with the voltage regulator typically built into the alternator on new boats although your boat may have a remotely mounted uh, voltage regulator if you have a Balmar or a um, high output alternator they're typically a remote alternator but either way if you're trying to figure out if the voltage regulator is working you don't want to see more than that two and a half volts the third step is to add loads you'd go to the DC panel turn on as many loads as you can uh, to see if the alternator is able to keep up to the demand of those DC loads. What we're looking for in the end is no less than 0.5 volts greater than the original static or open circuit voltage across the battery posts with everything turned off. To do this all you need is a multimeter simple multimeter set to DC volt scale <clears throat> and we're going to begin by checking what we'll call the open circuit voltage across the batteries so I put my black lead on the negative red on positive and I check the battery potential find that I have 13.2 volts we need to write this number down because what we're looking for is a change as we test the charging system. Next we need to start the engine and rev the engine up to about 50 percent of its normal operating RPM and see what the voltage change is from the open circuit voltage reading. So my assistant is going to start the engine, rev it up, and we're going to go from there to see what our voltage reading actually ends up being. Now, if the reading is higher than about 2.5 volts over the 13 volts approximately that we're reading now, that tells me that the voltage regulator is faulty. We now have the engine running. We're going to rev it up a little to excite it. And we see we're getting a reading of 14.34 volts which is well within our parameter. Now I know this battery is almost fully charged so it's not going to give us that much of an increase. The voltage regulator is, is telling it not to put out more and uh, we're settling in at about 14.39 we'll call it 14.4. The next step is to turn on as many DC loads as we can on the boat to see if the alternator can keep up. So I go to my panel board and I find all of my various loads and turn them on. Let's see, we're at the same RPM, let's see what our voltage is now. 14.27 we're doing very well. The alternator is keeping up just fine. What we're looking for is no less than 0.5 volts greater than our initial open circuit voltage reading which was 13 and change. So we're, we're quite in line. What does this tell me? The alternator is putting out. It's not overcharging the battery and it also tells me that with the DC panel board on this boat, with all the DC loads turned on, the alternator is keeping up just fine with the demands of this boat.
This is what we call a three-step voltage test. Very simple, very unsophisticated equipment. All you need is a digital volt ohm meter.